Bacterial RNAs, when they are produced by transcription, are pretty much ready to use. They don't undergo any significant alterations or what we call processing. Eukaryotic RNAs, on the other hand, all three of the major ones, are processed pretty extensively before the transcripts are said to be matured, ready to function in the case of rRNA as part of a ribosome or in the case of transfer RNA to actually interact with a ribosome during translation and in the case of messenger RNA to be translated. So let's take a look at a summary of the different kinds of transcript processing. It turns out, of course, that mRNA are encoded by split genes, that is, genes that have introns and exons. So the transcript that is made from DNA, shown here with red blocks, is a pre-messenger RNA that then needs to be processed by splicing. In the, in the DNA, the red blocks are the regions which actually encode, contain the codons for a polypeptide. Therefore, in the transcript, those are the blue blocks. Splicing is getting rid of the white blocks, which don't code for anything, and connecting, in correct order, the blue blocks. So you end up with a messenger RNA that has the coding sequence for a polypeptide contiguous from one end to the other. mRNAs also undergo some additional processing. They get a methylguanosine cap, and this is at the 5' prime end of the RNA, and they get a poly-A tail, most eukaryotes will produce uh, poly A tails of 150 or 200 or more. And only after all this processing and export from a nucleus to the cytoplasm is this a mature messenger RNA ready to associate with ribosomal subunits and to begin being translated. Let's take a look at ribosomal RNA production, at least uh, some of it. RNA polymerase 2 is the polymerase of messenger RNA transcription. So RNA polymerase 1 transcribes this particular ribosomal gene and you get a pre-ribosomal RNA. This RNA undergoes some processing by methylation. And you'll notice that the methylations are in the purple regions, not in the little white regions. That is because the methylation is required in order that enzymes then recognize the border between purple and white, and thereby correctly catalyze the hydrolysis of phosphodiester bonds between RNA nucleotides so that you get correct cleavage. So what happens in this illustration is that you get three pieces of ribosomal RNA, the larger one coming from the left side of the pre-ribosomal RNA, the small one from the middle, and the sort of medium-sized one from the right. Now that accounts for three of the four eukaryotic ribosomal RNA transcripts. So here, finally, are the products of transcription of RNA polymerase three in eukaryotes. So there's the DNA. We have a transcript just below that, catalyzed by RNA polymerase 3. And then we have some modifications. Uh, not shown very clearly, although if you look closely, you can see that the pre-RNA here is a little bit longer than the mature RNA. And the little black dots are meant to indicate some base modification. Processing of these RNAs is by some trimming and some base modification. And this is uh, transcription and processing of transfer RNAs. Not shown here is the transcription of the remaining ribosomal RNA, which is also catalyzed by RNA polymerase 3, that is the 5S ribosomal RNA of eukaryotes. I've boxed the mature RNAs at the bottom in green, and I've boxed the RNA polymerases that do the specific catalyses at the top.